Hello and welcome to Instructor 101 for outdoor instructors that want to make an even bigger impact on those that they work with. Today I want to have a quick chat with something that I've come across recently, which is about leadership versus followership. Enjoy! So I attended a coaching workshop recently with my local canoe club um, and it was run by Chris Brain Coaching. Really experienced, really knowledgeable coach. I definitely recommend going on some of his courses if you do get the chance. Um, I'll make sure I leave a description in the link in the description below and all that sort of stuff. So if you are interested in finding out a bit more about them, please do. I'd highly recommend it. Um, and there are lots of different bits that I picked up from the course. Um, and I've given him a heads up that I'll probably make a few videos as I am doing. Um, so I want to make sure credit is, is given where it's due. And one of the things that he uh, happened to mention in passing was something called leadership versus followership. And so my interpretation of, of what I meant by that was if we are really quite strict or really autocratic leaders, where I say, okay, we need to do this, 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 and this, then what could happen or what could be created is that you have a group of people that are really good at following instructions and ne not necessarily thinking for themselves, which has its pluses and minuses. But if we think about the pr like a lot of the work that we do, we're trying to pass on that independence and uh, try and pass on an understanding of what it is that we're trying to put in place so that people can be more independent in the outdoors or in other environments so they can start to think for themselves. So if we were to think about that within a, a water setting, so if I was leading a, a group down, down a river, I could be really autocratic and I could go, right, you need to go to this eddy, then this eddy, then this eddy. You must take that line. I don't want any deviation from that. Off you go. Then that's okay, but you might not necessarily give an uh, understanding of the reasons why that you've asked the group to do that. Um, whereas if it's appropriate and if it's safe to do so, and depending on the experience and the ability of the group, you could start uh, by saying, right, I want you to find your way down to this particular area. I don't mind which way you do that. Maybe suggest to them that, uh, okay, the, there's one area that you might want to avoid. Think about that. Off you go. So in that e example, what happens is that people start thinking for themselves a little bit more. They're having to make some decisions. They're learning from it and trying to work out and gauge things, especially if you, you go on like some reflective practice afterwards to try and get people thinking about it a bit more, then that's going to be a lot more effective um, for their learning their own growth. Now, if we were to put a little bit of a twist on that, we could try and apply that to other settings as well. And this could be really effective for changing the group dynamic a little bit and to start to get a group to listen to each other in a slightly different way and think about their own roles, their own little, almost like their mini hierarchy. Um, you could just take one person to the side and say, okay, could I ask you um, just to get the group sat down in this waiting area and just make sure they've got their helmets on. And you could start almost like delegating different roles and stuff and make it clear to the group, okay, that this person now is in the, the leader role, so could you please like, listen to them because what they've got to say is going to be of great help and value. And then that starts changing the group dynamic a little bit. So that's just a little spin on, on well, that whole leadership versus fellowship thing. But yeah, the idea that if you take too much power or, or lead too much, what can happen is you might slow down that learning process in comparison to when if you give over some of that control to the group, then they might start learning through it uh, a little bit more. So yeah, just thought I'd share that. And yeah, if this video is helpful or useful in any way, please like, share and subscribe. There's loads more content on YouTube, so please feel free to check that out and follow me on Instagram. Other than that, thanks very much for watching and yeah, take care.